Hey, hey, everybody, Kevin here with Pursuing Pixels, and I'm here to uh, kick things off to start this episode for our very first uh, off-week episode. I'm not quite sure what we're going to call these yet, but we announced last week that we were going to be doing like our official numbered episodes every other week uh, in the interest of time and just being able to dig into certain games a little bit more deeply um, and then do these kind of off-week episodes when we, uh, in this case, uh, have like an off-the-rails, kind of off-the-cuff Game Boy discussion <laughs> that we didn't intend on having before the podcast started, um, and in some cases, we'll maybe do some interviews in other cases we'll uh maybe do little mini episodes that still are like a normal episode but just a little bit shorter maybe focused on one game we're still kind of figuring that stuff out but like we said last week we want to make sure we're uh bringing a weekly uh podcast to you every week so please uh throw some feedback our way if you have any and uh without further ado let's uh talk about some video games wasn't able to beat circle of the moon before tonight you were trying <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're Jesus. trying to beat it before tonight <laughs> you're mad, i was man, trying dude. to unlock because uh I'll, I'll talk about it on the podcast but like it has like different game modes after you beat it but the only thing that like nothing like other castlevania games like have like oh you get to play as this other character or you get to like this yeah. stuff and, yeah yeah like, circle of the moon has this mode like you have like a like all of your stats are garbage except your intelligence <laughs> and like you just use spells or like uh, one of them yeah. is like you just have luck and i'm like okay what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> i guess in like a roguelike sort of way that could be something <laughs> i on my original cartridge i have it has like 10 game slots or maybe nine and there are like nine game modes and I have beaten it on every single game. mode. Holy <laughs> like, shit. Jesus Christ, oh, man. man. I was just trying to, I was just trying to unlock the first one before, uh, <laughs> which, just which the uh, game boy advance model are you using to play through most of the time? Uh, my original, honestly. Uh, although I think, I think I played through like the last three on a 3DS or no a DS because that's yeah. the one that has the GBA slot. Little DS light action. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I want to know how uh, Eli hacked his uh, setup, his uh, 3DS, where he keeps posting like he's loading GBA games on there like oh, yeah. natively and stuff. I'm like, what the heck is he doing, man? He's mm. he's got some hacks on like a <laughs> lot of his software. Yeah, he or said like it was like hardware. a CF, CFK thing or something. But he was like playing Little Samson and has like his own custom box art for it. I'm like, what the Jesus. hell are you? How do you do that, man? Wow, I'll pay you <laughs> seriously. Like that would be awesome. I wonder Dude. if there's some sort of R4 cart equivalent that they figured out for the 3ds or something. Did yeah. he say that he got uh like or maybe that was who's maybe it was someone else that like paid someone on Etsy to like mod one of their systems? It it might have been him. It was it was some there was something more to that mod he was talking about. It definitely wasn't just like I plugged in this chip or so like he did something to it oh, it yeah. seemed. I'm kind of um, shocked by that cuz I I feel like <clears throat> the 3DS was a lot more jailbreak proof oh, than yeah, the they, DS was for a long they, time. They, they locked that thing down big time, yeah, including re locking, which kind of sucked. Yeah, yeah. I think they, they did get rid of that region lock with they the region new 3DS locked on the or? 3DS. They didn't on the Switch. Okay, what about the new 3DS? Yeah, the same. Oh, yeah. All they 3DS models too? are region locked. Dang, I didn't know that. Yep. Dang, Nintendo has always been good about that on the handhelds. Yeah, for whatever reason. Yeah, I guess I don't know about Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Oh no, Game Boy was same same way. You could play Japanese really cartridges. Okay, yeah. heck yeah. Oh yeah, heck yeah. I got a that. Japanese like uh, Game and Watch Four or something that totally works. Yeah, Damn. nice. Dude, I've been playing, I've just, like, that one day when, like, when you mentioned the pinball games, John, I was just, like, bouncing around and playing a bunch of Game Boy games and Game Boy Color games and stuff. Yeah. And, man, I I was getting fucking pumped on some, like, 
I just remember like a lot of the games I had on Game Boy were kind of on the jankier side. Mm-hmm. Like I had like this Turtles game that was a little janky. Oh yeah, I had the first <laughs> Super Mario Land, which was like it's good. It's a good game, but yeah, it I was a little janky. Beat- Super Mario Land, except like <laughs> once I got to like out of the areas of like the levels that I hadn't like played in my childhood over and over again. Yeah. Then I was like yeah. instantly dying on like weird jumps or like the Maori or like Easter Island heads. Oh, like, sure, sure. Oh, those things are crazy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I was like, fuck, I don't remember how this enemy works. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. No, that, that game, game kind of rules. I like it's, that it's, game. It's great, and it's but it is a little jank. Oh, yeah, like, as far is, as gameplay awesome. goes, when you when your first Mario game is Super Mario World, and then you're like, oh, Super Mario Land. <laughs> <laughs> what if you're yeah. the first Mario game is Super Mario Land, like this ah, guy? That's nice. Awesome. Hey, got my favorite Mario tune in it. My sister oh my God, was the first amazing. one to get a Game Boy, and she got Donkey Kong Land. And I forget, I think, mm, I don't know what she got. Donkey Kong Land is incredible enough. Yeah. It's like amazing. The fa- yeah, the for fact a that that game. thing runs on a Game Boy is unbelievable. It's yeah. Crazy. I mean, it it's is. Still, it's like a little zoomed in and impossible to play. But. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so, like, when I got the ones one, on I got Super Donkey Nintendo Kong Land are 2. So, like, that yeah. was my basic, like, that and Ms. Pac Man were my first Ooh. games. And, like, that's okay. what I played, like, endlessly how did miss pac-man go on game boy did, did the screen scroll up and down to I like i think so i oh. think it was just like a zoomed the fuck oh. out like real tiny sure like, but still it's pac-man oh, like right. that could yeah, work you know Ms. it could Pac-Man. be you could probably play it on a graphing calculator and it'd be fine yeah but, you know people played mario on graphing calculators to ti there was like a whole like Kind of like a Kaizu Mario or whatever that's called. Kaizo. Scene on uh, graphing calculators. I think you can still download Dude. the levels online somewhere. That's great. I would love to get like a TI 84, like just all the like games that were, but like I don't know any of them because like it was all like you got it from like a friend or yep. like yeah some. you would link the cables <laughs> together and yeah it wasn't like on the internet or i was so jealous of the kids that had one of those and then some of them had the fucking color ones on top of that i'm like no oh my God. way i don't I know if i ever saw those. those oh yeah, yeah. there's this couple of kids had these bougie ass like color screen ones game like, boy oh, colors man. on their God yeah damn. all right on their graphing calculators yeah. that's yeah, awesome those graphing calculators that cost more than a game boy right Oh, easily. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I just like, I guess like a lot of the Game Boy games I played growing up were really small. Mm -hmm. I get like, or felt really small. Like even Super Mario Land, again, especially compared to Super Mario World, was like, oh, this is kind of small. But then like booting up Mole Mania, I was like, this game is like fucking awesome. Like this is jam packed. Like this is like worthy of a, like I played the first level and I was like, oh man, whenever. There's obviously zero rush. Like I, I'm not like rushing to play it, but I was like, man, when we can sync up and talk about that one or pair it up with some other Game Boy games or something like that game rocks. It, it, that game have, rules, and no one talked played, about it. Uh, yeah, the original or the Donkey Kong for the Game Boy. Yeah, man. No, Dope. I've never played it, and I know it's amazing. So but I've like, never played it. The first. Because again, like I, this was when I was a child and like playing a Game Boy. Like I remember being on vacation. Like I think like in ninety seven or ninety eight. Like I was a kid, and like I couldn't get past like the first three levels of Donkey Kong. Like the normal three, le- like twenty five. I mean, it's a hard 50, arcade game. Seventy five. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. So like yeah. the first time I did that, and then suddenly there's a world map. Yeah, and, maybe. like, the game opens up and has, like, actual levels in it. I remember, like, that just destroying my mind as a child. Being yep. like, oh, yeah, this game is so much bigger than I thought. I need, I'm need. i glad you mentioned that because that's one that I actually kind of forgot about it's that, that I've never played that I need to play. Yeah. Really one of the top tier Game Boy games. And I, that's what I always hear. Yeah. That came out during the Super Game Boy era and takes full fucking advantage of the Super Game Boy too, like full color mode and everything. Dude. Nice. Yeah. Heck yeah. It's oh. I need yeah, I need to play that cuz isn't that also when they kind of the first time 
that they introduce like Mario kind of doing like a double or like a time jump where you're like getting extra height or Probably. something. I thought there was something he does like yeah. a kind of a handstand flip jump yes. or something. Right. Oh, In the Mario to get extra Donkey height type of mode. Yeah. Fuck. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Ah oh, man, but even in uh, in Mole Mania, there's like a freaking versus mode again. Like oh, wow. uh, obviously, there's no way for me to do it. But I'm like, are you just racing, or are you actually like playing against each other in some mm-hmm. capa- like battling in some way? Because I guess you can like th- kick and throw those like boulders around, right. yeah, or those like cannonballs. Yeah, it's a, it's a Miyamoto game. It by is. The way, John, and I think it was one of the last ones that he was like fully creating. To be honest, Dang. yeah, yeah, it's it feels just like. Man, again, like it just felt so much bigger to me than Game Boy games I had growing up. One of the later ones. I was getting ones. pretty juiced. Yeah, you could tell. You can definitely tell. Yep. So the tunes are jamming. The oh, tunes yeah. are so good in that game. God, man. It's a great game. Yeah, we're going to have to talk about that more on a podcast. 96, that game came out. Jesus Whoa. Christ. So, like, pre. Was it the 64? No. Yeah, 64 came yeah. out in 96. Yep. I mean, it might not have been out yet, but like, it, but same year. Yep. At, at the very least. Yep. So no wonder nobody talks about this game. So also, does that mean Miyamoto was just like, let me let me make Mole Mania while I'm making Mario 64 and also while I'm making Ocarina of Time? Like, yes, I mean, sir. again, I know he didn't like do the whole thing, but like, <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Yep. You, you guys are machine, the dot, man. Randall. 98. Yep. Nice. Yeah. I think I got one that year or the next, too. Nice. Got the purple. I had the purple. Yep. Yeah. Same, same here. Same the atomic here. purple. That's right, baby. I even had the matching uh, little purple light that you could plug into the charge the slot worm or light. the link cable slot. Yeah, the worm light. Dude. Okay. So uh, I was telling uh, Kevin earlier in the week in the band thread uh, how I was playing Pokemon Crystal. Nice. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm just Ooh, leaving the game that, on. You put that in the Trello, too, I saw. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I'm kind of playing <laughs> a ton of that. But. Even though I was leaving, I left the game on like fast forward to see if it could like go into uh, night time. Mm-hmm. But I think it syncs to your like computer's clock. Oh, jeez! So like, <laughs> I bet you it does. I bet you it does. So I the saved the game. Yeah. I saved my game file. I have a hundred and fifty hours on <laughs> Pokemon <laughs> Crystal because I just left it on like fast forward for three hours and no time advanced. Like that's uh, amazing. Of three hours. That's amazing. That's great. That's amazing. Can't cheese it, man. I can't. Can't cheese it. So Unless you change the time zone on your uh, <laughs> <laughs> For whatever reason, just, I never got around to those ones. Oh, yeah, I never. I mean, obviously, you guys know how I feel about Pokemon. It's not even that I don't like them, but I just ha- I just don't feel compelled to keep playing them. Silver, I've got Heart and, Gold. I've got all the other yeah, ones. Yeah, Silver but. and I've never played the yeah. remakes of Heart Gold. I've heard they're very good, but Silver and oh, Gold yeah. are my favorite games in the entire. I series. have a Soul. Or you know what? I think it's in my pile of games to get rid of, actually. But if you want my copy of Soul Silver, John, you betcha I do. All right, all right. Is that the DS or is that the Game Boy Advance version? D- DS. It's like the one that came with like I got it came in like a bigger, thicker cardboard box. And yeah, yeah. I think it came with some kind of like pedometer Poke thing. Walker, that you could baby. like yeah, load a Pokemon on it and then it <laughs> walk around all day and train that's, it in your that's pocket. Great. That's amazing. It's Dude. the monster in my pocket. That's right. But it's well done. Crystal's a good a good game. Like I, I that's uploaded into the uh drive if you ever want to give that one a spin. I did download all those. Thank you guys for putting those. Yeah, on. yeah. No problem, man. Dude, there's so many of those that like over the years that like again, I'm glad you mentioned like Ninja 5 0. That yeah. was like off my radar. Like, dude, that game. Oh my god, it's sweet. Like it you, won- it takes just a minute to get used to the controls, but oof it is at first i was like oh i don't like how this feels and like boot i actually like stopped playing after a couple minutes and then i started again and i was like oh wait a minute wait a minute i'm getting the hang of this and then i oh I, it's so nice oh be, yeah what were you about or like what uh they're like missions and then there are levels in the missions i was trying to yeah. think of like what the divider was because i beat the wait, first have you played it yeah oh you played it yeah yeah, you, you my said, man. You put it in the you put it in the Trello. You put it in the <laughs> my <laughs> man. John's a um, machine. But I I played through the first mission and like I beat after I beat the 
or I, I was in the second level of the first mission and I was like, where the fuck do I go? And then I realized that there's like the grappling hook mechanic. And I was yeah. like, cause I just did, did, you didn't need to use it in the first level. The first chunk. Yeah. yeah right. And so like, I was like just walking around I'm like, there's nothing here. There's nothing else in this level. How can I, how can I advance? And then I was like, <laughs> I go into a room and then I'm like, Oh, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was my experience with Batman forever on the game boy. Batman I think it was forever. Batman forever. It was like, literally I, I could walk. There were like two enemies I could kill. I would get to a wall and then that was it. I literally never got further than that in that game. <laughs> Batman forever. Wow. <laughs> you were, you apparently had to like grappling hook your way up by like some weird button combination. I think you even had to press like start to like activate your grapple. It was something super bizarre. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man. Yeah. I was really into Ninja five. Oh, I got probably about as far as you did, John. I don't even think I beat the whole first mission. I did beat um, the first mission cause it is ends in a boss. Yeah, I didn't even get to a boss. Didn't even get to a boss. I don't. I got. I faced some like mini bosses that are mm-hmm. like enemies that felt kind of more like, hey, we're here to face off instead of just be stand there and wait for me to kill them. Oh yeah, it's a good game. Yeah, it's sweet. Yeah, I'm pumped to talk about that one at some point. I mm-hmm. still need to get Open Mu working on this. Like, I tried to download the latest version, but it's required. <laughs> A version of the uh, Mac operating system that my computer cannot install. Uh, <laughs> that is my that is my problem on my Mac too. There's like nothing I can run on my Mac anymore except like old versions of GarageBand. Yeah. 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 Um, I downloaded an you, old one. I just haven't had a chance to try it out yet. Yeah. What about your uh, the Windows thing you have with that? Because this I really like this emulator, this uh, Ludo or whatever. I think yeah. it works pretty well on PC. I, I, I think it, it works well. I do like Open EMU better. Oh, I, me too. Yeah, for like, sure. I, I, if I had the option to use Open EMU, I would a hundred percent be using that. But okay, because it's a uh, doesn't have a Windows thing. And like, man, I'm there are some it doesn't things, have a Windows thing or Open EMU doesn't have doesn't have a Windows version. Oh God, I, it's I Mac see only. Saying, yeah. yeah. Um. But, like, there's just a, a couple things on Ludo that, like, I wish I could do. And I was like, do I really want to, like, figure out how to r- actually run RetroArch and then, like, download, like, a skin that makes it and thing. Or, like, and I'm like, you know what? I'll just, I'll deal with it. I will I won't be able to run, like, the ROM hacks that I had <laughs> or, like, the weird translation versions <clears throat> of, because, like, anything that's a hack, like, doesn't automatically run on ludo so like uh the version of chrono trigger i had was like a translated like hack of it for this like a retranslation yeah i i mean i honestly probably carried that over from my mac to this and from my mac i had that carried over from my parents computer oh man like oh man a lot of these files (laughs) from high school like these files like say like that they were like ripped in 1996 like they Mm -hmm. say they were originally created like jesus like a decades ago that's amazing i love like it's yeah it's cool that most of them work but yeah, some of them were like all the mother versions I have, like unless it was just the Japanese version of it, like doesn't work. Right. Or- OK, so real real quick for what it's worth, John, mm-hmm. um, when I so when I played the translation of uh, Densetsu uh, no Stafi, mm-hmm. when I played the translation of the first game of that one, it won't boot like it. It won't find it like when you search or scan for games or whatever. Yeah. But if you go like I would I have to if you go on like the main menu and then load the game. And then load the game. So you tried that and it didn't work. It's it does, but then like it still doesn't pop up in like the like immediate library in like the library for each platform. Yeah, it's just in like the history or whatever. Yeah. And and I'm like I'm such a I'm such a nightmare person that I'm like, oh, no, I'm it's, the same it's too way, man. Inconvenient to like <laughs> press four more buttons to start this game. <laughs> I-, I think I've over the years tried like five or six different, probably not that, probably three or four different, uh, like cataloging websites where it's like you catalog your game collection or catalog your record collection. And I'm like, 
uh, I start it halfway through or I get it done and then I'm, I stop keeping it up or mm-hmm. I switch because it's a better platform. Or I go like, you know, I just can't, you know, this app doesn't let me like it counts thes in the T's and it just drives me crazy, <laughs> you know, and I just like I can't use it. Also, you know? oh, do you want do you want me to edit the the what calls it? the pursuing pixels uh excel no file I, I, I mean i'm that's kidding where the I, buzz think, are. <laughs> I think you can actually set it up in a way to like disregard a word or something like that but yeah. no i'm just i'm just kidding no but look, i um, i 100 agree that like on a but like if I, yeah if i'm like searching for bands or something on spotify i don't want to if they were if all the thes were in the t's for bands it'd be like a nightmare dude right oh man so I was going to recommend this pricecharting.com website to you, but I'm pretty sure that they do it by the. That's I I'm, I was like, they do to. like that they was just like a weird the. that was like a weird nitpick of mine, <laughs> but like just like to pick one. But out I mean, of I've air, got like, like that's how I have my record collection, too, is out, not by the like. Yeah. Yeah, that's. But I, I do like weird little quirks, though, too, where it's like it's always like I do everything alphabetically. But then if it's like, oh, but. You know, Ocarina of Time has to go in front of Majora's Mask. That like, stuff is weird, isn't it? I can't make up. But if it's like in the actual series, I'm like, yeah. it's got to go in order. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, best one is the Born trilogy because it just it just works. Whether, you know, Born, <laughs> born Identity, Born <laughs> Supremacy, Born Ultimatum. You're good. E- yeah. However you do it. <laughs> sure. I'll take your word for it. Every oh, which way. That's <laughs> unbelievable. Every which way. Oh, speaking of every which way, that Wendy game, that freaking way forward Wendy game. Yeah. On Game Boy Color. That's another one I'm going to have to talk about at some point. Not today, but like. Yeah, I got to get that, this emulator going because that game looks sweet. It's awesome, dude. Yeah. It's like it's got the Metal Storm VVV flipping gravity yeah. whenever you want at will. Which they did later on in another game that they made. Way forward. Yeah. Oh, uh, Mighty Switch Force yes, sir. or something. Yeah, that game is sweet. I got to get that collection actually because they made like three or four of those games. Yes, they did. And I only I I got the first one on Wii U. I think either Wii U or 3DS. I feel like I got a lot of them on 3DS. Yeah, I think I only picked up the one, but it, it was is, sweet. I really liked it. It yeah. is such a bummer. Apparently, how good the Wii U Virtual Console was, and how <laughs> none of yeah. that is available on Switch. Yep. Yeah. Like. Like shit like, tons with, of Game Boy Advance and DS and all kinds yeah. of stuff. And like third yeah. party stuff like Circle yep. of the Moon, Final yep. Fantasy Tactics Advance. Like all of my favorite shit is on mm-hmm. the Wii U, but like I'm not going to, I have it, it on really, Game Boy. Like it's not any more convenient to right. boot up my Wii U to play them. No. Yeah. It really seems baffling that they don't just cash in on the retro games. I, I, no I just idea. don't get it. Nintendo does what they want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We were just talking about uh, my cousin uh, texted me and my brother and he was like, hey, they just added like an online, like a huge online update to Mario Party. Yes. On the yes. Switch. Like, right. ma- like it's like actually online. Like it should have been like the everyone place, was saying basically. at the time. I think I yeah. said that at the time on this podcast yeah. before. <laughs> it should have been from the start. Like, what the fuck? Seriously. I read the update and I was like, that's sweet, but. It's three that also years. should have been the game, yeah. <laughs> and also, yeah, it's a, little, it's a little late, man, yeah. yeah. Unless they're planning on, like, pumping out... Is, is that a free DLC? I mean, it better be, because they like it's, only I think had, it's just like, an update. three fucking boards on that game in the first place. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe four, when you unlock the extra one. Like, I'm yeah. not exaggerating. <laughs> I don't know how they've just dropped the ball so much on that and that otherwise series. it's really good like my only nitpicks were that like there aren't enough boards and why is there no online like that could have been a perfect mario party game because otherwise it didn't have the problems of the other newest ones yeah yeah they it seemed like they ironed it out a little yeah. bit at least you know it wasn't back to the cream of the crop but it was still a it was serviceable close. yeah mario tina and party i had game, some yeah. good times with that yeah um, and especially during like oh so. like yeah Imagine if they would have put that out like when Animal Crossing came out right at the start of COVID, oh, if they man. could have had like a release like, or even just if it was already out uh, with the original game. Like how awesome would that have been to play stuff like that online? Man, now I feel sad. Yeah, because like because, yeah, even playing Fall Guys with DJ, other than the fact that I ended up just watching half the time because I would <laughs> die and then watch him play for four more sure. rounds. <laughs> sure. But it was still I mean, we're just chatting. It was fine. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's like that. It would be like that kind of like wacky fun. Instead yeah. Of being like. 
because sometimes like I feel bad I haven't gamed with DJ online in a while, but like he, it's always like competitive gaming. I haven't right. been in that mind frame of like, let's play some Apex or let's play some. I, I'd probably play Rocket, Rocket League. League. Other than that. Yeah. Rocket League, I can. But like, I know he'll get pissed at me if I'm not playing well. So <laughs> I got not like for real, but I could just feel the I could it's, feel it's it. It's stressful. Yeah. It's burning in his heart. Like, I know he's getting he's just like they scored again, Kev. Like, I, I just know this. what he's thinking. <laughs> Hey, I saw I saw you didn't uh, boost right away. Oh my god! You know it's not that extreme either. I'm exaggerating for, <laughs> for comedy's sake, but I definitely feel like I'm letting them down. Oh boy, if I'm not up to snuff. It's been too long and since I'm, I played Rocket League at this point too. Ah, uh, yeah, man, that was I almost brought it up on our two year anniversary app just to be like, you know what? It's two years in, and we talked about it on our first yeah. app, and it's just worth mentioning that we still play it like. It's been a little while, like you said. That's been, even for me too. But like, we still play it kind of all awesome. the time. Yeah, like it's, it's been still at most one of the like best a games. few weeks, Kevin. Like, when was the last time we played with like Glenn? Oh, with Glenn. Yeah, I guess it, well, yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> like, that I was long, like, it hasn't been that long, dude. <laughs> yeah, I guess <laughs> we you're played right. season three. <laughs> I just feel like I guess I haven't played my Switch in a while, so I just feel like it's I haven't played a. I've been messing with my PC so much. Nice. Right. Um. But man, yeah, I'm like addicted to these emulators because you can just like as soon as like you can save state, you yep. can just like as soon as you're done with something, like I'm done. Yep. Jump to something else or like playing those pinball games was just like boom, boom, boom. Let's check this one out. Let's yep. check this one out. And I'm glad we have more time to play some more of those too because I wanted to dig a little deeper into the Pokemon oh, one. I'm gonna get so many more Pokemon. <laughs> nice. Just they're portable really games fun. on like a bigger screen or like a TV screen is magic to me. That's just how Dude. I prefer to play them most of the time. How, yeah, I also, think I. How do you ahead. guys? I I is is the normal way to play like a handheld pinball. I go A and left on the D pad. Like, is there D-pad, any other way yeah. to play, or is that just like the always the way to play those yeah on the game boy ones that's usually the way to play i use that anti-micro software Mm -hmm. so i actually have it mapped to l and r for the pinball games too which is nice i think i think because i've played i can't do triggers like i've i've done really l and r before and it just it feels weird like for what even though i when you're playing an actual pinball i was just gonna (laughs) say yeah i was just gonna say that but i don't know it's something about I don't know. I don't know why, like, my thumbs feel better, even though I would never play. <laughs> you know, use your thumbs yeah. on the Ugh, side. I don't, it's I don't, so she's gross. Like, slapping them, like, That's just it. your whole hand. <laughs> yeah, you're just, like, yeah, that, drumming on this. <laughs> yeah. Although, it, there are just weird things. Like, when I was playing that game with Morcal, there's, like, uh, uh, that was yesterday, yeah. Um, when I was playing that game with him, he was like, or a couple days ago, um, he, there's just literally controls left and right. And that was it. And I was mm-hmm. like, I got to set up my anti micro. He's like, are you freaking kidding me, man? He's like, you need a freaking control. I was like, I just, I got to play with my thumb, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The game was crazy that we played. I actually, if, if there's a time we can sync up, maybe not even with him, but with us, I think I mentioned in the it's private parts or somewhere I mentioned it, but you can play up to 20 players online yeah. in browser. And yeah, it is like is the crazy. It's super janky and weird. Like when it, when I first jumped on, like he's like, okay, just follow this link, jump in. And I was just like, you know, we were chatting and I, I was just like, what the fuck are we about to play? There's like just these weird, like green, like Chuck E. Cheese looking monsters, like walking around. And then, but basically you just, you're automatic. You're like controlling this like dog on a skateboard. And he said, you, he just took like all sprites from like all the other games that he worked on. And like, you're just like, it's really janky art. Like, it's really just looks like a prototype, but you basically just steer left or right and you're constantly moving and you just have to avoid all the obstacles and enemies that are, you know, there's like Roombas that are bouncing off the walls back and forth and you got to dodge those. But then you can, if somebody dies, you can go back and rescue that person by touching them. Like you can like kind of tag and try to get through the levels a little bit like like, the uh, bonus stages on those really way too hard Disney 16 bit games like uh lion King and uh, Aladdin. Yeah. Yeah. Where there's shit falling from the sky and you're really just like dodging. Like that's all you can do pretty much. Yeah. It's like, but from a top down perspective. Oh, it's top case, down. Like, okay. Yeah. So you're just like, you're using left and right to kind of steer tank control style, if that makes sense. So yes. that's kind of what makes it tough. And like your steering radius is like, you know, you got to kind of loop around, but you can, 
like push up against the wall to where you can like almost stop yourself. Like, you know, you're still moving like because you're just gliding forward. So you can touch walls, but you just can't touch anything else. Mm, OK, um, but it, it was pretty fun. I was having I was having a blast. He's a really nice kid. Um I feel bad. He is a he's a kid. He's freaking seventeen or something. Apparently, everyone in weird. our Discord is. <laughs> I know they're all like, I because Dev Dwarf and those guys are like twenty four, but then Zed Squadron's like forty something. Or, oh, okay. I don't know. Some of them are older. Yeah. But yeah, he was like, like we were, we were playing, and then like his brother, or somebody yelled like, "Hey, time for dinner!" <laughs> oh my god! I was dying. It was like it was kind of the most adorable thing. I was like, "This is pretty cute, actually." I'm pl- just playing a game online with like a guy who likes our stuff and that really nice. wanted to play this game to show it to me. That's wonderful. That's awesome. That's the whole point of streaming a lot of times. I know a lot of the devs are like that human is red is always like, man, I, we need your feedback. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you're be a beta doing like QA. For, right. What's that? You're kind of like doing QA. That's what I was saying. So that's what they all. That's what a lot of the devs say. They're like, oh, we love watching anybody play our game because it just lets us see things that like either we haven't tried or people figure out ways to break the game that or not necessarily figure out but accidentally break the game mm-hmm. um cultisti actually with underneath they fixed it uh when i beat the game it like crashed and didn't go to the ending when i was playing on like the download and not in the web version yeah mm-hmm. and so they fixed that afterwards and there was actually another crash where i beat a level and died at the same time nice and it crashed after that too <laughs> so they fixed both of those um and it was like immediate they're like oh here you go i forget Jeez. Uh, i think it was a couple of like the, the ld48 games that like i don't there's there's something about the like itch like comment section where like all of the comments were all about like you gotta fix this bug or like oh, and i really? was like this jeez kind of sucks like it depends I, I can't wow. tell because I can't tell if that's just like the community there. You know what right. I mean? If it's just like, is it all devs just being like, hey, I ran into this because but I feel like it's more like at least the way Dev Dwarf has it set up. He has like a bug report section in like his discord and stuff. Right. Like, yeah. hey, let us know if you run into any bugs in the game. I'm like, but I, yeah, it I seems kind of weird to just. Yeah, I don't know. It, go ahead. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. But yeah, like it's just more that like like I was like, yeah, like, I don't know, like. I guess that's where else would you like put a comment section if you're not part of their community or you're not like you don't have a contact for them. But like at the same time, that's like the forward facing thing. And like when I, I, I saw in like one of those games, like and it was just like four like people like complaining about bugs and like literally complaining, not like yeah, being like, hey, I've like, seen like that just too, so you yeah. know, or they're like, you and it was like, you got to fix this. And I was like, all right, no. dudes, like. One, yeah, this is I a like free when, game. Chill out. Yeah, <laughs> like when it was made in seventy-two hours. Yeah. Right. On exactly. top of that, like, I don't got to do anything. I don't want to do. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. Although, again, may, now I'm thinking at the same time, like maybe if they're if it's all those jam games, I wonder if it was people being like, "Hey, you got a little time left to fix this." Like, you yeah. know, there's a I found this bug. Fix it before Could the be. jam's over or something like. But I know what you mean. I've definitely been on games pages that have only a few comments or something. And one of them is like, you know, oh, man, the jump jump really double jump sucks in this game. Yeah. Like really feels weird. Just like, come on, man. At least give some intuitive like, oh, I couldn't get used to that double jump. But cool, yeah. cool, cool game or something. You yeah, know, so fra- like there's, there's a just a way say, like what you want to say without having Oh, I'm basically quoting stars for what is that <laughs> lyric uh, I'm trying to say what I'm trying to say <laughs> without having to say <laughs> <laughs> I haven't listened to them in so long oh that was my breakup album so yeah I haven't listened to them in <laughs> yeah that'll do it time. <laughs> did you ever get into them Randall they were like arts and crafts right label oh yeah I yeah. no, I can't say that I did Part- I think they were we're Go ahead. Or like some of them were in, uh, maybe all of them were in Broken Social Scene as well. Oh, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That's what I thought Ooh. too. Yeah, 
like at least they were pretty good. They had a few good albums, at least. Oh, I two or three. Still love them, but they are absolutely like, ooh, let's listen to some sad music. Yeah, <laughs> sad music but with for like sad a little people. bit of yeah, but with a little, with a poppy uh, mm-hmm. element to it. It's good stuff. 